Hello, Elon. Today we're at the farmer's market outside of Pandora's Pies, and we're going to be spotlighting some local businesses. Let's do it. So I grow flowers for a living. Uh, we harvest uh, from February to about November, and we sell at the farmer's market uh, from March until November. My favorite part of flower farming is uh, when the customer buys the flowers and shows me the smile and the happiness that the flowers give them. Uh, the name of the business is from my uh, wife's street that she grew up on, Rodwell Street in Warrington, North Carolina. So her roots are there and she's the brains behind the business. This is her, her operation and, and uh, together uh, we make up a two-person team. We got a holiday workshop coming up at the barn, on the, uh, at the farm, and so we'd love to see you out there. If you're interested, go to our website. Cool, thank you very much. You're welcome. So I make pet bows. Um, I cut up the fabric, I sew them, I glue them, I spray them with a, a, cover, um, a coating and everything just to keep them nice and stiff and, and clean as long as they can, because pets can get messy. But um, yeah, and they go right quick, onto the collar. They have two little Velcro straps on them so you can wrap it right around the collar. Um, so my business is named KT Boco and it's because my first name is Katie. Bo is because I sell bows, and Co is for Cooper, the dog that started everything. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Bob Thomas with Gardener Bob. So I started off gardening. I'm moving a little away from that. I'm actually going towards uh, making fresh sourdough, fresh pickles. I'm actually opening up a bakery soon in Greensboro. It's going to be fresh everything. My biggest thing when I started this business was I got so sick and tired of all the chemicals, dyes, preservatives, all the garbage that's in food that I decided to start a movement and I'm hoping everybody can jump on board with that. With all my products, there's nothing garbage, no chemicals. It's all about clean eating. I was sick when I was younger and it's all because of the American diet. It's time to clean it up. So that's what Gardner Bob stands for. Oh, that's a tough one. I'm going to have to say two things. It's a tie. I got my olive rosemary parmesan cheese sourdough, and then I've got my Carolina Reaper pickles. They're spicy, but they're perfect, and the olive rosemary has just the perfect amount of uh, balance between herby and umami. That's a word for you. My favorite part about owning my own company is the creativity that I get to express to other people. I get to bring my creativity to other people, and then I get to see other people enjoy that. Um, creating different loaves of bread, creating different pickle recipes, all that stuff is absolutely enjoyable. I absolutely love it. And uh, it's really nice to be a part of a community, to give, eventually be able to give back. Um, it's such an amazing uh, market we have here at Elon, but um, I'm looking forward to moving on, about to get a storefront. Um, really, really excited about life and where business has, but yeah, come on, man. Working for yourself is pretty amazing. Y'all need to come out to the Elon market. This place is absolutely amazing. Go out and support local because I promise you Walmart doesn't do, Walmart does not do a little jig when you buy something from them, but us little uh, businesses, we do a little jig. You're helping us pay our rent. You're helping us pay everything. And honestly, we love what we do. We don't get paid very well for it. So come out and support local. Appreciate it. My business is Lisa's Lemonades. Uh, the name, obviously my name's not Lisa. Lisa was my sister's name. She passed away from cancer, so we donate 10% of our sales to uh, cancer research. Uh, the main thing is that we make it fresh to order. You want a lemonade, you get a lemonade made right in front of your eyes right then. Uh, we don't pre-make, we don't use any kind of country time or anything like that, it's just pure sugar, pure lemon made right for you. So we have your regular lemonade, I can do a limeade, an orangeade. We also offer um, flavors that can change throughout the season, like strawberry, mango, peach. Um, we did one that was a pina colada limeade that was pretty popular. So. so I own Toasty Catalyst, which is a brewery in downtown Gibsonville. We are a nano brewery and we are out here today at Elon. Um, we, are putting, we are working with the town of Elon to have a beer garden. Um, we've got uh, a festival style beer garden in place. We've got four beers on tap and we are here to partner with other businesses so that way we can cross promote each other and uh, our hope is um, we continue to um, have craft beer brought into this specific area of the beer garden and um, promote a sense of community and uh, we are all about supporting local promoting local we've got four beers here today um, we've got a IPA which is called Haystrick 
We have an Irish red, we have a stout, and we have a Munich Helles. One of the things with our beers is uh, because it's craft beer, and uh, one of the things I'm passionate about is um, following the German beer purity law. So we use only four ingredients, which is your base water, your malt, your hops, your yeast. And with that, I try to replicate historic beer profiles with a little bit of a twist to it. And that brings something special for the consumer to enjoy. What makes your beer special? Try to design the beers that are something very intriguing to the end user. That's what we try to go after. It's uh, not really a job, you know? It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And craft beer brings people together and it also promotes a sense of community. And that's what we would love to continue to promote and share with other people. Come by and check out our um, beer garden. We are here from uh, Thursday to Sunday and we'll be here from October 12th. This is our second week all the way up to December 17th. <sighs> all right, that's it for the Elon's Farmer's Market today. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice night.